खे राम दो साल हो गए अभी तक गुड न्यूज नहीं दी क्वाइट फ्रेंकली मिटर्नल इंस्टिंक्ट इज इन एवरी वन कप ऑफ टी मोस्ट ऑफ आर जनरेशन आर स्प्लिट बिटवीन द डिसीशन टू वॉन्ट अ किड और नॉट बट वॉट मेक्स इट एन एप्सोल्यूट हॉर इज द प्रेशर फ्रॉम द इन लॉज नाउ ह्यर आर द वर्स थिंग्स दैट कैन हैपन टू यू लेट मी नो इफ एनी थिंग रेजोनेट्स विद यू इन द कॉमेंट्स बिलो Point number one: Your in-laws decide to go to the doctors with you and want to know exactly what's the problem. I mean, they want to know कि बहु में problem है या हमारे लाडले बेटे में. I mean, at the end of the day, I want to ask you, कौन से ज़माने में रह रहे हो यार? Point number two: They're constantly pushing this thought, this ancient thought, that when a kid is born or when a child is born, that that child will bring the family together, and all the long lost commitments would now make the family. happy and flourish forever i mean the bachcha will be the suraj barjatiya director for this entire khandan koi tuk hai is cheez ka mujhe nahi pata point number 3 they are constantly having different havans or poojas that are being performed so that the aashirwad can give you the good news i mean ye kaun sa science hai yaar mujhe to samajh nahi aa raha point number 4 asking the world to butt into your private and personal affairs and give you unsolicited advice i mean at this point your neighbors your chacha tauji masi uncle rishtedar dost sab log aa chuke hain including your maids and your mali who just want to know the gossip between the sheets in your bedroom i mean again just uh. point number 5 they constantly throw an emotional tantrum on any altercation and make the whole thing about the delayed good news i mean it's like they are not happy but they only get happy if we have kids and that maths doesn't really fit in my head listen yaar irrespective of the number of years that you have been married it really comes down to you and your partner and having an honest conversation about the future okay i mean you will have to live with the child provide for it take care for it support it when times are hard for yourself and don't going back is not an option honestly i know many women okay who don't want to have children for reasons that only work for them like saving the earth is one reason or that it's a grim world for the child or that it's too expensive i mean that's like the current narrative or most importantly the tussle between motherhood and career there are some people family friends and sometimes even colleagues who randomly ask you yaar tumhari shaadi kab ho rahi hai ya tumhare bacche kab ho rahe hai because they think that it's necessary for fulfillment so yaar don't have a kid cuz you're fomo or have the pressures from society or your in-laws it's your body sweetheart you have to live with the problems between your husband and on top of everything you have a new body a new mind and a new human being so take your time do it when you want to do it diaper tumne badalne hai relatives ne nahi aur na ki koi xyz neighbors ne who keep asking you about the damn good news